From the Muppet Babies Classic Children's Tales, retold by Louise Gickel, illustrated by Tom Brannon, and art direction by Lauren Antonello. King Arthur, retold by Sidney Lanier. Long, long ago, a king named Uther Pendragon reigned in Fair England. With the help of a great magician named Merlin, Uther ruled wisely and fairly all his life. Merlin could see into the future and knew that Uther's only child, a boy named Arthur, would be in great danger. So to protect the throne, Merlin secretly took the boy and gave him to the valiant knight, Sir Ector. Sir Ector raised Arthur as his own son. Years later, it came to pass that enemies of England attacked the country and poisoned good King Uther. On his deathbed, Uther declared that it was Arthur who was his rightful heir. But none of his lords had heard of Arthur, and not one was willing to yield the throne to a boy. So the lords began to fight among themselves to decide who would be king. When Merlin saw this, he caused a great stone to appear in a churchyard in London. Embedded in the stone was a mighty sword. On the sword were the words, these words written in gold. Whosoever can pull the sword from the stone will be the rightful king of England. On that day and for days thereafter, many tried to pull the sword from the stone, but no one could move it. Some time later, a great tournament was held in London. Sir Ector, his son Sir Kay, and Arthur went to take part. When Sir Kay realized that he had left his sword at home, he sent, he commanded Arthur to go back and fetch it. Arthur remembered having seen the sword in the stone. He knew nothing about the magic of the sword, and so he decided to get that sword for Sir Kay. Arthur went into the churchyard and po easily pulled the sword from the stone and brought it to Sir Kay. When Sir Ector saw the sword, he immediately recognized it. At first, Sir Kay claimed to have removed the sword from the stone, but Sir Ector finally discovered the truth. Only Arthur could pull the great sword from the stone. The sword was put in the stone again, and Arthur pulled it out before all the lords of the land. Then they knew the truth. Arthur was the rightful king of England. The end.